All right, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about low budget bliss. Face heads on a low budget. The low budget kings. All right, this is top of the line or top of the line in like number one, two, three, four, five. If you're on a low budget, what is the best value base amplifier I can buy? Now you can agree or disagree, and you all see the Google search results. <laughs> you know, they're, they're just uh, insanity ridiculous. Maybe you call my stuff insanity ridiculous. But uh, I'm here to tell you, if there's a guy that's, I wouldn't call it cheap. Cheap, you know, cheap sounds, uh, sounds like a derogatory statement. I'm thrifty. So let's start with the budget king number one and that is no it is not the uh, my beloved 401 sx ma audio well that's that's not this number one i believe this is usually about 90 bucks sometimes they go on sale sometimes they're a few dollars cheaper this is the recoil red 600 that is a one ohm stable it has a remote clip indicator base knob and it does about 700 certified if i remember right at one ohm so that is the number one now you know there's a couple others that do uh, you know, a little bit more power the, you know some oddball stuff where, where is that one at? hang on a minute audio is a own which you can't get it right now not this one this is the silver one that was uh, whatever it was. It was 80 bucks. It was 1,000 watts. But, you you know, that's hit or miss. I'm talking about something you generally can get on the regular. These data sat, they were awesome. What was that? Seven at one ohm. 13,665 certified 800 dynamic or 1,300 dynamic. But you can't get them now. So this is something you can get every day. It's usually the regular price is 90 bucks. It's got a clip remote, which is valuable, especially for someone that's not, hell, it's, it's valuable for anybody, really. So that's number one, Recoil Red 600. Now let me put this back up here. And uh, now, uh, as a side note, this is not part of it. This is the Recoil uh, DI 600, which is only two ohm stable. And it does not have a clip remote, but it's uh, it's a little cheaper yet. And if you were in a two ohm scenario, that's about 600 watts at two. But that's not part of this. Number two is the Soundstream Tarantula TXP 3500. Now you say 3500? No, no, not really. It's uh, I'm not sure that anybody's done a legit dyno on this, but it's Big Brother. The 6,000, which I assume is double the transistor power or whatever. Now look at the size of this, how small that is. Um, this should do between 11 and 12 certified. And it's pretty regular, 110 bucks. So to me, that is, uh, and that's at 1 ohm. That also has a power, does not have a clip remote, but it does have a clip light on the amp. So that is number two. That is uh, 11 to 1200 watts, one ohm for 110 bucks with a clip light. And uh, number three, if I can get that back in there. Number three, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. number three. This is the American Base VFL ST4500. That did, I think, 1600 certified at one ohm with a clip remote. And that bounces around between 140, 125. I think right now it's 125. Um, some places went up on them. I don't know how long that's, it's been hanging around that price, you know, that fluctuation for almost a year. So I don't know if they'll stay around forever, but that's, that is number one, two, three. That's number three, 1600 certified. It had good dynamic numbers. I think they were over 1900, 2000. Um, and 
like I said, it has a clip remote. And uh, that's also, you can, that's a master slave. So you can, whatever with these. That's number three. Number four is the Soundstream Tarantula TXP 6000. Now I'm currently running that. I've been running it for two years. And uh, you see the empty box. It's a little bit, maybe one and a half times bigger than the than its little brother, the 3500. This does over 2,000 certified at one ohm. And uh, they are pretty regular, around 160. Sometimes they pop up uh, from, I've seen them as low as 136. I've seen them hang around 149, 157, but 160 is usually the top. And, uh, and that is a good solid amp. It's got a clip light on the amp. It has a remote, which I'm using in my vehicle right now with the remote. It has not failed in two years. And uh, the sound's pretty decent on those, as is the 3500. And then, uh, so that is what, one, two, three, four, number five. What is that? That is a Shock 3K from Slaps Audio. Now, you can say, okay, well, you can, there's a few other. Yeah, there's a few other, but there's not another. Uh, you, you, now, you want to say Tramps HD. You can pretty regularly get those below $200. Yeah, but they don't have a clip remote. So, and I think the, uh, I think the Slaps does a little bit more power. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Alan put up a dyno just the other day, and uh, the numbers are good on that. That is a value, and you know if you use our group coupon code, it's even a better value. But the normal price on that's one ninety nine for three k. So you know, go find it. Uh, that is number five. So to summarize, uh, the top five budget kings for subwoofer amplifiers. That is the Recoil Red 600, the TXP 3500, the VFL ST4500, the TXP 6000, and the Slaps Shock 3K. That is it. Have a good day.